that was pretty beautiful then. Um, if you look down there, I was just feeding those swans and um, in their cygnets, and it was uh, really cute to see. And uh, as I was videoing it, a duck came out with her um, duck nits and came across the scene as well. And I managed to get all of that in one one clip. So uh, that was pretty nice to see. So I'm just going to walk just around the corner now. I've probably got about a five minute walk to, to get to the location that I want to be. Um, the light is looking really good now. Um, there are a few banks of clouds just where the sun is. So I don't want to talk too long because typically <laughs> It's going to be on the clouds and then won't come back out again. I've got to the location now, and as you can see behind me, we've got this beautiful scene. We've got a lovely willow tree there, then we've got the, the river Y going down the middle and meandering off to the left and then there's another tree on the right hand side. Now the last time that I came here over by the fence over there there's a whole herd of cows and they were uh, like females just giving birth to, to little um, cowlets. So if they'd have been out this evening that would have been a really nice subject here on the bank so it would be kind of like the hay wain but without the hay wain or the horses just cows. But either way, I think that will add a little bit more interest. Now, what I was hoping for as I got here was that the, the light was going to be spectacular and light everything up. Before I left today, I checked the weather forecast. Um, and I've got a weather app that tells you how much cloud there's going to be. And it said there's about 30% cloud today, um, which is pretty good. So um, that is going to give me some patchy clouds so we're going to get some really nice light nice shade in different places and also when the sun sets we're going to get some nice patterns and colors in the sky the problem that i'm facing just at this moment is that there aren't really many clouds behind me all the clouds are that side in the sky um, the wind is coming this way so hopefully um, we should get some of these clouds coming over and there's some really spectacular like summer clouds at the moment um, and they're nice and wispy and if they start going in the background when the sun sets I think we should get some really nice colours peeking off those. Okay this is looking into the sun at the moment and we've got those really stunning clouds unfortunately they're on the wrong side um, of the river they need to be facing the other direction but I I really don't know if they're going to reach the other side by the time I get to take the photograph or by the time the light disappears. So I'll talk you through the photograph that I want to take. Um, I'm going to go roughly from just the left of that tree to the roughly to the right of the tree there. So looking at this lens at the moment, I've got it on 35 mil. So you can see that this this river is pretty wide there's a lot of expanse of water down here now if i take a panorama um, with a wide angle lens because i'm going to get quite a lot of the, um, the space at the bottom that's going to really exaggerate the size of this this water down here so i really didn't want to get this wide angle um, view across here because the river is really wide and i think there'll be too much um, foreground river in this photograph so what i've opted to do is to use a, a long telephoto lens um, and I've got quite a long one so what I've done <laughs> so what <laughs> so childish um, so what, what I've done is I take a photograph from this side really zooming into about 200 millimeters so I can get just really the river underneath that tree. I'm not going to get it all down here because there'd just be too much foreground. So as I take the panorama, it's going to be quite narrow um, because at the moment, I think this, this water is quite bland. But the problem I'm having just at the moment is the sun keeps coming out and um, going behind the clouds. At the moment, you can see it's really beautiful. There's some lovely light over there. Um, so what I'm going to do, I'm going to shut up for a little bit and then see if I can capture this. And, ooh, 
the signets are back with the swans. I've got to show you that. was absolutely fantastic um, it's really nice to see those at close especially the little signets so uh, they've just gone and wandered off down there now um, what I really would like to have happened is if they'd have been stay right at the uh, in the middle there unfortunately they just came around the edge um, but if they'd have been there I could have taken a photograph with them in it as well as those cows and that would have been absolutely superb but um, that didn't happen which is a shame but it's not a problem because um, they came just down here so I took a lovely bit of video footage I don't think it was good enough to um, take any photographs because there's a lot of weeds and things down here but it was still nice to see okay so I'm still waiting for the light at the moment and there's some perfect clouds up there but it's gone really really clear over behind so I really do want to have some clouds in this because the light is dropping from the, the bottom of this river here. The sun is just at the edge. It's probably about half an hour or so to go before sunset. But there are a lot of trees behind you which you can't see. Um, and that's casting a lot of shadow down here. So it's going to be quite dark. So unless the, the light casts really stunning colours over these trees and has some really nice yellows and oranges to them. Um, it might be a little bit dull so I do think I would like some nice clouds in there so hopefully if these come over a bit that will be better um, you can see some nice light picking up in the background there on the bank where the uh, swans are so hopefully I'm gonna get some good light in a minute I'm just gonna wait for the opportune moment and then take the photograph Right, the best of the sun has gone. Um, we've got a little bit of sunlight still there, but it's, um, it's gone from these trees. So I think I'm not gonna be taking any more photographs this evening. So for the last 10 minutes or so, I've just been sat here um, watching the, the river drift by and watching the birds. We've got some a lot of swifts flying by and there's a couple of martins in there as well just going above um, there's a couple of powered wagtails over there and you can hear this really noisy robin in the background and uh, a few other birds over there I can't quite see any of them but uh, it really is magnificent to listen to so I'm not sure if I got the photograph that I came to get um, oh, I've got something, but I just, I think it would have been a lot better with, with higher clouds up there to fill the blue sky, but I don't think that really matters. I've had such a lovely evening just sitting here by the river, um, watching the swans and the ducks and the wildlife. There's lots of fish in there as well, popping up and catching the flies been such a magical evening and really that's what it's about you don't have to always get the photograph sometimes it's it's a good idea just to sit and enjoy nature and that's one thing I don't really do enough of these days I try to focus so much on getting the image that I miss what I'm actually photographing so I thought I'd stop today and just 
really take it all in. And this is fabulous. Right, I think that's about it for today's video. I really do hope you've enjoyed this video um, as much as I have um, videoing it. It's been such a beautiful evening. Um, and I hope I got a good photograph and I really do hope you've enjoyed it. So if you have liked this video, please give it a thumbs up. It really helps my channel. Um, and I love your interaction. So if you have any comments, um, please let me know as well. So thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time. Goodbye.